Tom Haslip here with Linux Academy, and again, we are here from Microsoft Ignite here in Orlando, Florida, and we are now going to talk about uh, some more announcements from Microsoft as it pertains to more Azure certifications. So, we are here with Michael Height, and he is going to talk about and fill us in on what happened with the 200 level exams that were just announced today and are available to take in beta. Okay, thanks, Tom. So, the news that's come out today is such that what would used to be the 7532 exam for developing Azure solutions has now been kind of lifted up into its own certification, now known as Microsoft Certified uh, Azure Developer Associate, I believe is the name of it. And once you're past that then, like Amazon's kind of done with Associate Professional, there's going to be, I believe, a professional level announced later in the year, which is going to also introduce some uh, DevOps and stuff. So I believe that might be the 7538 exam that's been announced, may change the But fundamental change that has happened with 7532 is it's split into two new courses, which is great because it was, if you've taken it, you know it was huge and covered a lot of topics. The fundamental difference is that uh, it's going to be kind of more of a core thing, so the easy 200 exam is going to be core solutions development. And that's going to take out uh, some of the stuff that's in 75 thirds, such as virtual machines. That stuff's all gone, and you're going to focus on building software solutions. So that particular exam is going to walk you through a lot of the things that are in the existing course, such as using storage, uh, some security, and the older paths based services, such as uh, web applications and things like that. The 201 course is still going to focus on some of the new offerings and dive a little deeper into things. And the big differences in that are in that you're going to start doing things with cognitive services, machine learning, uh, time series data analysis. So those new hot topics that Microsoft's creating those new services for in Azure. So if you're currently working on the 7532, it's still recommended by Microsoft to take that exam. Uh, the new exams will uh, kind of, that will kind of still cover most of the material. The, the big difference I see will be in this cognitive services and things like that, which we have to see yet. It's still to be announced tomorrow, what the details are in that. But to still take that, and then there's an AZ202 exam, which is a bridge exam. So if you already have taken 7532, that exam will get you to the certification without having to take 200 and 201. To get the certification, if you don't have the existing 7532 certification associate, you have to take both 200 and 201. But if you already, like I said, if you already have it, you can just take the 202 exam. And, you, and you've got it. And that's basically the nutshell of it. And I'm sure we'll have more updates and we do more. And I'm sure we'll get back and have more detailed information on the site very soon to uh, you know explain more details. Yeah, Michael Vega is a great summary, and uh, we will catch you guys in the next video. We're going to talk about the 300 uh, series of Azure certifications.